The Race Across America, or RAM for short, is one of the toughest ultra endurance events in all of cycling. Unlike the Tour de France, which is broken down into multiple stages, the clock at the Race Across America starts once the riders leave the town of Oceanside, California, and only stops once they reach Annapolis, Maryland, with the first rider to make it there crowned the winner. This year marks the 37th edition, and coming up are five facts about this very prestigious race. Running from west to east, the 2017 route covers a distance of 3,070 miles, or 4,940 kilometers. Riders need to pass through specified checkpoints at various points on course within a certain time limit to be allowed to continue racing. Far from being a flat, albeit very long, time trial, one of the biggest challenges of the RAM is the variation in terrain, weather and altitude. Riders will tackle over 100,000 feet of climbing, with elevation ranging from 170 feet below sea level to 10,000 feet above, somewhere around the Rio Grande region of Colorado. The RAM is not just for solo riders, it can also be tackled as a 2, 4 or 8 person team on tandems, recumbents and even hand cycles. And if you think you're too old to even think about taking on an event like this, you can take some inspiration from Ronald Bell who finished the race as part of a team back in 2012, aged 80 years young. Athletes are fully supported, meaning each rider or team will have their own crew and vehicle convoy to hand up food, drink and a place to grab a few hours of sleep. Not that they'll get much of that, the top competitors will be on their bike for the best part of 22 hours each day. A squad of officials travel along the route to ensure the race laws are upheld, including the one golden rule, absolutely no drafting of race vehicles or other competitors. Christoph Strasser holds the solo record at 7 days and 15 hours, which he set back in 2014. And for those of you wondering, that's a mind-boggling average speed of 16.4 miles an hour over 3,000 miles. The fastest woman is Shauna Hogan, who set her benchmark of 9 days and 4 hours all the way back in 1995. 22 years later and Shauna will be lining up to try and win her 7th women's title. If this video has whetted your appetite, stay tuned to the GCN show for updates on this year's race. Subscribe to the channel to get all the news first. If you want more videos right now, why not check out 6 of the longest bike races in the world? Or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, find out what bikepacking hardman Sean Conway takes with him on an epic adventure ride.